Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope everybody had a good new year. Uh, obviously a short week this week, four days of trading with Monday closed. And so let's take a quick look at the markets starting with volatility. Uh, so VIX started off Tuesday right above 13, pushed above 14, all the way back down to almost where we started. Slightly higher VIX on the week, even though the S&P's pretty much sold off all uh, all week. So uh, continuing to punish premiums. Uh, NASDAQ lower on the week as well. Russell lower. Dow slightly lower. Gold slightly lower. Silver uh, bounced today but ended the week lower. Notes and bonds lower. Uh, Ten-year yield pushing up ended at 4.046. Uh, oil got a little bit of a bounce. Natty gas bounced on the week. Soybeans down. Wheat back and forth. Corn lower for the week. The euro uh, had a big push down Tuesday and then just kind of chopped. Uh, 6B dropped Tuesday and then bounced uh, the rest of the week. And then Bitcoin settling in at 44390 uh, Looks like the Bitcoin ETF could be approved by early next week is what they're saying. But uh, Bitcoin just kind of chopping around for the week after being uh, pretty strong in the last last few weeks. All right, so let's take a look at my trades for the week. Not the way I wanted the new year to start. Let's start with zero DTE. Uh, minus 11,000 for the week on my zero DTE trades. Let's go through these. I've got a, a, a few new ones. This is a, an overnight trade. Uh, I'm still categorizing it as part of my zero DTE. Uh, a couple winners there, Small, uh, a couple small winners, plus 400 on those two. I'm just kind of trading those small for now. Uh, my re-entry trades, we uh, were red about $2,400, had six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. Or excuse me, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it says right there, seven. Uh, minus $2,400 on those. Uh, my AM trades did very well. Five of those uh, was one small winner, uh, but overall over 8,900 on my AM trades. And then my DKS had three of those, all three winners. So plus 3,700 on those. Uh, JSPs, two of those, one loser, one winner, net minus 1,200 on those. And then Power Hour, the biggest loser. Old reliable was not so reliable this week. Uh, minus 20K for power hour. So on Tuesday, all three tranches were losers. Wednesday, tranche one was a loser. Tranche two and three were winners. So that was basically a scratch that day. Uh, yesterday, all three tranches were losers. And then today, uh, tranche one was a small scratch loser. Tranche two was a loser. And actually add another $1,000 to that because... I let tranche three expire, but it's going to be about a thousand dollar loss on that one. So about minus 21 K for power hour on the week. Not the way I was hoping to start the year, my friends, not the way. Uh, and then my afternoon PM trades, two of those two losers. So minus eight, almost 9,000 there. Yeah. A little over 9,000 on those two trades. And then quiet lunches did good. Two of those minus, uh, or excuse me, two of those plus 2,700 on my midday trades. Uh, I don't think I had any RICs. Yeah, no RICs. Uh, this zero do, uh, zero 02 DTE calendar. Uh, this is something I'm just kind of testing. So one winner, one loser, scratch between the two. And then lastly, my one day iron condors. This is something new that I just started trading. Uh, at the first of the year. So these did well coming in hot to the new year, three for three for plus 6,100 on those uh, one DTE iron condors. So that's it for zero DTE time flies took a, took a hit on one for minus 3,250 closed out a couple other winners. So net minus 1300 on those for the week. And then the only, uh, dynamic calendar I took was a two, three. So I took the last couple of weeks off with the holiday shortened, low, volu low volume 
typically don't perform well, so I just passed, uh, except I took one, two, three, and it was good for a $360 profit. But I'm back in full force, loaded up on some of those today for next week, so we'll see how those turn out. Uh, Iron Ducks, I don't think I closed any of those. Yeah, just one opening trade. Uh, and then options selling. Uh, let's see, that Natty Gas, that's still open. That was just a roll. Took a small uh, $135 loss on that ES. And then lastly, portfolio margin. Get all these clicked. So for PM trades, uh, had a $500 winner on a ratio diagonal, a 525 loss on a vertigo, $600 win on a Humpty Fly, and a $2,500 Humpty Fly, so plus $3,100 on portfolio margin. So red overall for the week, but next week is a new week, so we're going we're gonna to get it back. Everybody have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.